What's up Guardians? Profane here. Thanks for checking out the video. Today is June the 5th and we are jumping into today's Legendary and Master Lost Sector. We're heading back to the moon, to a Lost Sector that can be a bit of an annoyance, but with exotic helmets up for grabs, it's hard to pass up on a chance to get the new Cenotaph Mask or a number of other exotic helmets that are currently available. We'll be breaking down today's Lost Sector in its entirety to make your exotic farming a lot easier and faster. Playing passively through the majority of this Lost Sector results in around 6-7 to seven minute clears. Speed runs could certainly be shaved down to about 4-5 to five minutes, so all in all, it's not the worst Lost Sector this season. The K1 Logistics puts you up against the Fallen, where you'll see Barrier Servitors, Overload Captains, Solar Shielded Shanks, and a ton of Arc Grenades. Your enemies receive an increase in Void Damage, but you'll predominantly be seeing Arc and Solar. I would recommend Arc and Solar Resistance mods as well as Sniper Resistance. You will receive a 25% increase in Arc and Void Damage today. I found Layman Arc to be the most beneficial weapon to use in today's Lost Sector, combined with Strand Suspensions, since a lot of this Lost Sector puts you in enclosed areas. Being able to keep your enemies suspended and immobilized will be a valuable asset. Revision Zero, Centrifuge, and Wish Ender can be very effective exotics towards barrier champions. While Thunderlord can rip through the overload, there's a lot of seasonal artifact mods that can improve your performance with Arc, Void, or Strand builds, so be sure to reset your artifact accordingly. The biggest hurdle of this Lost Sector is the first room, where the ceiling is low and there's not an abundance of clear line of sight, which is why I highly encourage the use of Strand to make this first section a lot easier. From there, it's really just a matter of playing back and using cover to shield you from exploding shanks and snipers. Once you get to the boss room, you'll want to rotate around the map as you clear through enemies. You don't want to stay in one central location where you can be more easily flanked. The Servitor boss will teleport a few different times, and with each teleport, a new set of Fallen will spawn in. So you'll need to be sure you don't get too zoned in on the boss and get sideswiped by a new group of ads. While the Legendary version of K1 Logistics should take you around 6-7 to seven minutes to clear, the Master version will include more champions, more ads, and higher light level threshold. So you'll see it taking a little bit longer to complete but it does have a higher chance at rewarding exotics. To which I wish you all the best and luck throughout your day of exotic farming. Let me know how it's going in the comments below and let me know what loadout you decided on. Thank you as always for checking out the video. If you enjoyed and found it helpful, then be sure to hit that like button below along with the subscribe button if you're new. Both are greatly appreciated and both really do help support the channel. And until next time guardians, this has been Profane wishing you all some happy hunting.